Yo, what up everybody from the JP family? I am back with another drawing video. What's today's drawing video? You guessed it. It's Dragon Ball Z. What up? Yeah, come in, come in. Nah, wait, nah, it's not Dragon Ball Z. It's Tokyo Ghoul. Yes, Tokyo Ghoul. That is what we're drawing today, as you could see there. And uh, yeah, this was a request from Miss or Mr. Hold on one moment. I need to find it. It's baby something. Baby got back. Baby got bubble. Baby got baby. I should stop just in case I'm offending their name. Hold on, wait. Ah ha 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 ha. Their name was really hard to find. Hold on, wait. <laughs> Where'd it go? Where is it? I don't even know where it is, man. Hold on, hold on. This is so embarrassing. Hold on, guys. Let me try to find it. Boom! Okay, I'm back. And guess what the name was? Bedtime Bear. Mmm, sleep, sleep. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you have a great big bowl of honey for yourself, Miss, uh, Mr. Mr. Bedtime Bear. And thank you so much for your suggestions. By the way, yes, thank you for all the new subscribers. We're almost at 40. Ooh, man, it's going to be so exciting. You guys, make sure you share with your friends so we can get there. But without further ado, we need to start getting on this drawing, right? So, uh, what you should be watching right now is the, uh, oh, snap. I got the music going and stuff. All right, let's chill that out real quick. All right, what you should be seeing right now is basically, um, uh, me drawing. That's what you're seeing. Um, and this is going to be a two-part thing. I'm basically going to make one section for a speed paint and everything. So, for everybody who kind of likes, uh, you know, you want to see the ending drawing and everything like that. I'm going to make it a speed paint. That's going to be five minutes. And uh, for this one, I'm just going to be talking. So if you like when I talk and stuff, you can just watch this to the end. Am I going to talk a lot? I don't even know. Don't even know. Just going to try it. Just going to try it because I want to do some awesome new stuff for you guys. And that incorporates me trying out to talk while I'm um, doing the rest of this artwork. Now, I've already finished most of it um, just because I didn't want it to run too long. So, um, I already did the nice little sketch line work and um, now I'm just kind of coloring everything in. <laughs> so, uh, let's see here. Uh, do, 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 do. Just hitting those dark shades. So, you know, you guys, I do request, but if you, you know how I went over on that one video where I was just like uh, telling you exactly how I went about before I did the request and everything like that? I'll do videos like that because uh, I take about maybe 15 minutes of research, 15, 20, and then I just go into it, man. Um, so, and I, and some people were saying I was, that helped them out a little bit um, whenever I just, you know, told them kind of, how I began doing it, what I researched into looking into before I did it and stuff like that. And then they were really happy with the speed paint um, version of it. And they were like, oh, yeah, that's what's up, man. And I was like, oh, yeah, what? I thought the sky was up. But anyways, uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to try out, guys. I'm going to try it for you. You tell me if you like it. If you don't like it, well, you know, shoulda, woulda, coulda, you know what I'm saying? Bada bing, bada boom. Do, 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 do. Now I'm just coloring in his skin. I'm using a different um, coloring method than um, regular Tokyo Ghoul. Because as you can see up here, as we're looking at <laughs> Kanakiku Susukami. Ah, oh, man, I can't say his name right. I'm, I'm horrible. I'm the most horrible Tokyo Ghoul fan in the world. But you can't blame me. Season 2 was like, what the heck are you doing, Tokyo Ghoul? Am I right or am I right? Put a put a response in the comments. Go ahead. Just start hating. Just be like, JP, no, dog. Freaking Tokyo Ghoul was close to my heart. How can you do this? And I got to be like, man, you know, they were lagging a lot, man. They were lagging a lot on Tokyo Ghoul. Like... All right, so you got into, okay, season one got you in there, got you hyped. You were like, oh, man, what's what's Kaneki-kun going to do? What's he going to do, man? I keep calling him Kaneki-kun because I'm just like, oh, so obsessed with Tsuyomi. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, like, first you're all like, oh, man, he's all torn up. He doesn't want to eat humans. Okay, now he's getting this power, and he's like, it's becoming, he's becoming more, you know, closer to ghouls, and he can control himself more. 
and he's trying to show this guy, the guy, you know, that one dude, uh, what's his name? The one on season two who kind of had a love interest with that girl whose dad was killed by a, the owl and stuff. I know I'm horrible. <laughs> um, but yeah, that guy, like he, it seemed like they were going to be cool and, you know, chill and you know how it ended up like, they were. but anyways, um, so yeah, I don't know. Just did not like it. Did not like season two. Because mostly, uh, what'd they do? I should list it, right? I should list why I didn't like season two as I'm drawing. It's just slightly distracting, but I'm going to do this because there, there are going to be people who are commenting like, dude, why didn't you like season two? First of all, the opening the little wavy opening and stuff. I saw so many YouTubers and I should probably link it. Um, so uh, a lot of YouTubers who were just like trolling the opening cause they're like, what is this? You remember the opening in the first season that got you hooked into it? Cause you were like, what is this opening? I love everything about it. Please let me download it, everything and stuff like that. Um, then season two's opening came out. He's just sitting there. Oh, and there's just arms and hands wiping off sweat from him. That's basically what I got out of that. They're wiping off sweat from him. And I'm just like, dude, are, are, are you like, are you like a giant everything to them that they need to wipe off your sweat? Are you Egyptian? Like what's going on? But yeah, a heap though, yeah. Um, but then, uh, what else made me angry? I'm just going over each scene by scene. So as soon as they got in there, all right, first episode kind of got you a little bit hooked. They kind of filler, filler it in. They did a little bit of filler in the beginning and then they showed you kind of King Kood and then you saw, you know, that big, that big bombshell. You're like, whoa, he's about to go against everything he's, you know, learned from the ghouls that he was with and he's gonna join those bad guys so you're like all right cool um you gotta do what you gotta do man so you're following him along the whole plot and everything and then after that let me uh merge these layers together there we go and then after that once you see the uh, the plot kind of unfold and everything like that you see him you barely see kaneki um that much like all right you see him bashing down places, kind of beating everything up, but I'd like that they tried to fill out the rest of the characters in the series and stuff, but I think Kaneki Kun got barely any roles in season two. We saw him freak out a couple of times when he got that, that centipede power, but we never saw anything like that again later in the series. He never used it again, really. Um, as far as I can remember. And then, uh, <laughs> his best friend got done dirty. Like, he had no roles at all in the whole series. And then they killed him. They killed him off. It's like, well, <laughs> come on, dude. He barely had anything inside the series. I'm sure the voice actor of that, I bet they used one voice actor for, like, two roles. And he did that role and he did something else because that, that's messed up. All he did was just like show up everywhere like a stalker. And I thought later in the end of the series, they would explain it. And I'm trying not to give any spoilers for those who are still watching it. Um, so uh, don't worry about that. Um, I thought they would flush him out more in the end, but they, uh, they didn't. It was pretty sad. I liked him as the uh, best friend. They might as well as let him be eaten by Kaneki Kun in the first season. If you haven't seen the first season, you'll probably get some spoilers here. Um, do 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 do. Cause uh, yeah, if they were gonna kill him off that quick without having any type of like really dramatic ending or anything, then I'd rather them have something dramatic like Kaneki Kun ate him and he regrets it and stuff like that. Uh, bup, 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 and I'm just, um, now I'm just, uh, coloring in the background, stuff like that, giving it different shades, 
So you can tell this is in the back and that's in the front and blah, 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 blah. Now, what I'm trying to do with this drawing is uh, try to have uh, Siomi. He's kind of sitting over there like, oh, man. Kaneki Kun is eating. Oh, baby. I love how, like, obsessed he is with him. That's why I'm like, oh, man, I got to draw him. Uh, and I am going to be doing another live reaction video after this. Two of them. I'm going to be doing Yu Yu Hockey Show and another one. Um, it sucks because whenever I was trying to do uh, um, a live reaction video for uh, Attack on Titan on my other channel on uh, JP Reacts, uh, if you guys have seen it or if you haven't seen it, it's on featured um, on my main page. You just look on my main page on uh, Pierre JP and you'll see it. But, uh, but yeah, I did a reaction for Attack on Titan. I knew I should have been a little bit scared of it, but eh. Um, but, uh, I got flagged. So, not flagged. <sighs> I got a strike. So, yeah. And, uh, it said, do you want to fight it? Blah, blah, blah. I was like, no, nah, whatever. It's... I'll be more crafty whenever I'm doing live reactions and stuff. Because, uh, I was kind of being slightly lazy when I was doing it. I was like, uh, what was I doing? I was, um, I edited the volume and I edited the video itself so the subtitles would show a little bit more, but that's about it. Um, what I think I'm going to keep trying to do is putting a picture on top of it and then, um, Ooh, I gotta make them psycho eyes. Yeah. I'm gonna put uh, one of my drawings on top of it and then uh, lower the transparency and ka -ba boom! Get that thing going. I want him to have the rag on still. He's sniffing it. Yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, alright. So as you can see, I kind of hit a couple of the spots wrong here. Alright, and then we're just going to write... Those beady little eyes. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not gonna make him too sexy as far as his uh full drawing. I'm just gonna put a lot of features that kinda make you recognize that's him. Because uh I I'm trying, my attempt is not to make this run over 20 minutes. Now, if you guys have seen my other videos, you know I've never accomplished this. It is a challenge every time, but that is what makes it fun. It being a challenge to attempt to. And uh, if you haven't noticed what he's doing yet, he is on a window glass pressing himself to it so he can smell Kaneki-kun as he eats. Or watch him. I don't know. It's his world. We just live in it, huh? Hmm? Huh? Let's see. Um, oh yeah. And I know you guys know about my music. I have made a couple of songs. Um, but I'm kind of choosing not to put them out yet. Um, I think what I'm going to put out are fun songs that kind of make you laugh. Or just songs that kind of tell a story. Um, because some of the songs that I made, um, I feel like I should get copyrighted. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um... These fingers are killing me because I didn't pre-draw them, so. 
I'm just kind of thinking of how they would look on the glass. Went, you know. Yeah, that looks good. Looks decent. I'm just gonna bring his hairline across the thing. And if you guys have any questions on how to draw stuff or how to get started, I know I'm not the best, but you know, I've got some tips, you know. Um, I can really draw virtually anything. And, uh, I know how to keep it fun, so, you know, make sure you guys are leaving comments on, uh, any questions you have, of course, any requests that you have, and don't forget to, uh, keep sharing these videos, that is the, the fastest way we can get this JP family going, you know, um, but, uh, let's see, so we should make a background, right? Um, I'm pretty sure he has a chair under him. I don't think he's sitting on nothing. Or we can do a couch. Let's do a couch. Raise your hand if you want to do a couch. Nobody's raising their hand. Oh, wait, you are. What about them? No? You? Uh, you're picking your nose. That's gross. Anyways, I'm pretty sure the majority of you want a couch. So let's do a couch. <laughs> there we go. Now if we pull this around on the side and then we just gotta keep doing this. Okay. There, he's on a couch now. Aren't you guys glad that there's such great furniture inside his room? Alright, so the last thing we're going to do is really just color in everything. So I'm trying to find where... Boop. Nope, that's not it. Boop. Nope, that's not it either. Okay, where are you at? Must have messed up somewhere. There it is. I see you. I see where you are now. All right, let's see. Let's see what we can do about that. There you go. Nice and gone. All right. So next, we're going to play with the background. So let's see here. <laughs> hmm. I think I'll leave this one musicless, so you guys can just hear me talk. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or maybe I'll put music on. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, you'll know, though, because you'll be the first one. You won't be the first one to see this, but you'll be the. You'll be you'll be a giant delicious chocolate. That's what you'll be. Okay. Huh? Mm -hmm. oh, delicious chocolate. Huh? Yeah. See. Mm -hmm. All your dreams came true right there, being a delicious chocolate. Not everybody can do that. You know who can't do that? Like a Jolly Rancher. A Jolly Rancher can't be a delicious chocolate. Shit's just impossible for them. But you know, you get the lucky opportunity to be a delicious chocolate. So bravo. I mean, I'm proud of you. Don't let anybody else tell you not to be. Let's see. I can get this even with this. Just, uh, just, uh, just e. All right. I wanted to make a wall. Uh, and the kick plate at the wall. You know, the the little kick plate there. All right. So next, we gotta maybe give this a different shade of brown. How now, brown cow? And we're actually going to, on top of this, give this a tiny bit of a shade. And with this blue window inside of it, we're going to paint. 
I don't think we're gonna use this. We're gonna use his his infamous red outfit. Now that I think about it, I need to go back and watch it, but I wonder if he's still wearing the same bloody red suit that he was wearing um, whenever he trapped kaneki -kun. I wonder if he's wearing the same one whenever he is holding that girl ransom and he wants kaneki -kun to eat her while he eats him. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. That happens if you haven't seen season one, which I'm sure anybody who's watching this has. That is one of my favorite parts because he keeps screaming, oh, God, Kiku. Please eat her while I eat you. Like he's gonna be like, oh man, that sounds so hot. Okay, let's do that. I mean, I'm, I'm into new things, let's do it. No, that's, that's no, no, no. Nobody wants to get eaten while you are eating them. Not unless you are, I don't know, Yogi Bear. I, I can't think of an example. Don't put me on the spot like that. You couldn't think of anything. You just sat there waiting for me to think something. So, you know, shame on you, buddy. All right, let's see. Nah, it's okay. Yeah, it's a, it's okay, guys. It's okay. It's all in good fun here. Okay. I think it should be somewhat of a bloody red chair. And uh, we're gonna get a little bit dark on these sides here. Show a little bit of depth inside the uh, chair. Looks great, looks good. And we almost did it in 20 minutes, I mean, uh, almost, so. Almost is better than nothing, huh? Okay. I feel like we should do a bubble. Let's do a speech bubble. There we go. I'm just gonna draw on top of that. Let's move here. couldn't do complete his orgasm phase because he's so far away and I don't want to mess it up <laughs> but uh ba -ba -boom! here it is guys the request from miss or mister bedtime bear thanks thank you so much bedtime bear without you this beautiful drawing wouldn't have been made so ah Pierre JP, aka Phantom Works. Got our fancy logo on there. And that is complete, guys. So, there you go. Have a great look at it. So, thanks very much for the request. And as well as anybody in the past has given me requests or asked questions, I always appreciate it. And I love hearing comments from you guys. So, don't forget to share this video with your friends, 
like, subscribe, and become part of the JP family. Um, I'm eager to hear any of your comments or any other requests that you guys want to go ahead and do. If you like this format where I have one where I'm talking and one where I have the full speed paint, post in the comments below. Let me know any ideas that you'd like to see in the future. And before I keep talking, I hope you guys have a great week. Don't forget to check me out on the uh, live reaction channel that I have. JP, Pierre, JP, uh, reactions. Uh, man, I love talking to you guys. Anyways, have a great day. Peace out.